Tuca Mark is a powerful, practical tool which will help marker makers to maximize fabric utilization at each step of the apparel production process. This video will help you get started with this software for digital marker making. We'll even show you how to maximize the value of information throughout your organization and global supply chain. Before we begin, we want you to know that this software and its video help are available in multiple languages. Hello and welcome to Tukatex Tukamark software. Hola y bienvenidos a Tukamark. Ni hao. If you prefer to use the software in another language, email support at tukatech.com and we'll help you switch over. Tukamark is a Windows-based apparel CAD marker making software. It is compatible with all Windows operating systems and even Windows servers. The program makes the most of Windows features to create efficient markers and share detailed reports. If you need to use TukaCAD on a Mac computer, first install Windows using a program such as Bootcamp, Parallels, or VMware Fusion to turn your computer into a virtual machine. Then TukaCAD can be installed on the virtual Windows. We can begin by opening a folder on your computer C drive called Tuka Data. Inside Tuka Data, you'll find an examples folder, which contains sample markers for some basic styles. These Tuka Mark files, or TUM files, contain cutting layouts for a particular combination of material, cuttable width, and pattern pieces. Multiple marker files may be required to fulfill an order depending on the restrictions of the table length, the fabric width, the maximum number of plies, and the number of bundles required. In the File Explorer, hover over a file to see a summary of the marker dimensions, order details, yield, and efficiency. You can even attach a preview to the marker, which makes it easier to understand what style the marker belongs to. This can be a screen capture of the marker, or a sketch, 3D rendering, or photograph of the style. If you do not see this information or the preview images, make sure to install the Tuca Info program that came with your Tuca CAD software. Now, select a marker file and double-click to open it in Tuca Mark. There are four main parts to the interface. Menus, Toolbars, the Working Area, and the Pieces bar on top. Make the toolbar icons larger by going to View, Toolbars, Customize, and select Large Buttons. The toolbars are organized for various marker making functions. When you hover over a tool, it displays the tool name and the keyboard shortcut and a description of the tool appears at the bottom left in the status bar. There are two ways to learn how to use each of these tools. If you'd like to read about a tool, select Context Help, then click the tool you want to learn about. This will open the Tukamark help instructions for that tool. If you prefer to watch a short video about the tool, select Video Help, then click the tool to open a video explaining how to use it. Sequence automatically. First, we'll begin by showing the cut order, then clicking Cut Optimizer. You can select a range of pieces to be cut, or you can cut all pieces in the marker. This marker has a total of 35 pieces. From the Help dialogs, you can drill down to learn about every tool in the Tuca Mark software. We recommend watching a few videos every day so you learn about all the great features in Tuca Mark. To create a new marker, go to the File menu and select Order. Select a Tuca Design pattern file and click Open. Many functions within Tuca Mark are controlled with step by step dialog boxes. In the Order dialog, You'll see a list of the graded sizes and the number of bundles for each size. 
fill in the number of bundles you need for each size, then set the number of bundles that will be rotated 180 degrees. Here we have two bundles in each size and one of the bundles will be rotated. To load only the pieces that will be cut from the self, right click on a piece in the material column and choose select material for marker. Click OK. Next, click the marker button to give the marker definitions. Enter your maximum table length in X and the cuttable fabric width in Y. Values given in the waste area will be added to the marker size. For example, if the marker width is 57 inches and we have a 1 inch waste area on top and bottom, the work area will be a total of 59 inches in the fabric width. Keep the layout as single and the plies as one and click OK. Click OK to complete the order, then go to File, Save As to save the marker and give it a name. Below each piece in the piece bar, there is a list of the graded sizes and the number of pieces left to place. Select a piece and double click to bring it into the marker. Click and drag to move it around the working area. You can shoot the piece in a direction by right mouse clicking and dragging to aim the piece. Release the mouse button and the piece will shoot in that direction as far as it can go. Double click the piece to put it back in the pieces bar. Click a size for a piece, then click the place all button to bring them all into the marker. Now the quantity for this size is zero, meaning that there are no more pieces in this size to place. Click and drag to select multiple pieces in the working area, then move them around in a group. The status bar in the lower left corner of the screen shows the current dimensions and efficiency of the marker. For this order, there are a total of 104 pieces and four of them have been placed. The efficiency tells us that 59.91% of this fabric will be utilized, which means about 40% will be waste. The width matches the marker width given earlier, and the length tells us how long this marker will be. The marker length is determined by the red limit line. The line moves as the pieces move, and the marker length and efficiency are automatically recalculated. Press Ctrl A to select all pieces and use the delete key on your keyboard to remove them from the marker. The auto mark feature runs multiple nesting scenarios to find the most efficient marker layout. To make a section marker, use Ctrl W to select all pieces in a selected size, then click the start tool, which looks like a play button. Set the time limit for one minute, then choose selected pieces only and click OK. Add a bump line using Ctrl F3, then select all the pieces in the next size, but this time click the Continue button. Again, choose Selected Pieces Only and click OK. The system will keep the placement of the first size while nesting the next size. A mixed marker will give the best fabric utilization. Go to Marker, Empty Marker, or use shortcut Control E, then click the Start button to create a marker with all the pieces.
The longer you let the system run the marker, the more efficient the final result will be. SmartMark is an advanced algorithm which can be added on to TukaMark. If we run the same order for only one minute in SmartMark, we get even better fabric utilization and the marker length is much shorter. It is the most powerful automated nesting system in the apparel industry and has saved businesses of all sizes millions of dollars in fabric wastage. Even the most complicated matching and shading scenarios are no match for SmartMark. Larger companies will appreciate SmartMark NetQ, which connects users from all over the world to a single queue for marker processing, then sends the final nest to the factory for production. The system will even optimize cutting data, so you get the best utilization of your automatic cutting machine. Go to the Report menu and choose Summary Report. This gives details about the marker width and length, the number of pieces placed, the efficiency, yield, and more. Click the Excel button to save the summary report. Excel is one of the most popular software tools in the world, but you can also use OpenOffice to view these reports. The summary includes all the same information about the nest, order details, and even a screenshot of the marker. There are also reporting options for order in place, pieces, internals and notches, splice table, weight calculations, cost calculations, and executing time. Select cost calculations to see how much it will cost to execute this order. Enter the cost of the materials and labor, and the system will calculate how much it will cost to spread and cut fabric for this order. We can add the cost calculations to the summary report file we already made by selecting Append to Existing File. Now the Excel file has two tabs, one for the executing costs report we just made and one for the summary report from before. We can append more sheets as we build reports from Tuca Mark and even include sheets with reports from the Tuca design software for pattern making and grading. These reports can function like a mini PLM system, including as much detail as you need so management can track the progress of a style without needing their own CAD station. The materials manager should make sure that no fabric is booked without reviewing these reports. If you ever accidentally delete your marker or lose your work due to a power outage or computer crash, don't worry. You can find a backup copy of your marker in your computer C drive in the backup folder. You can select a different backup folder in Tools, Options, or change the backup interval time. After you are done creating your marker, save the file, then send it to a plotter. If it's a short marker, you can even print it on your home printer. You can also send it as an attachment in an email or request plotting service from tukaweb.com. Now that you know the basics of the TukaMark software, Watch through the video help to learn how to use all the tools. For more in-depth lessons on how to use Tuka CAD, enroll in the Getting Started with Tuka CAD online training course available at academy.tukatech.com.